Hi there, it's Adrian and welcome to another episode. In this one, we're going to take another look at distilled water versus bottled water. Now, as you know, I'm a very big fan of drinking the cleanest, purest water you can in order to enable your body to deal with contaminants and move them out of your system. So whenever you drink water, you are taking inorganic material in unless it's distilled. And then these have to be stored somewhere in your body at the expense of longevity and health. Uh, a lot of people, I believe, think it's all right to drink mineral water, and that's absolutely your choice. It's not something I choose to do. Recently, it was pointed out to me that if you do electrolysis on water, you can get a visual indication of the contamination in the water, and it's very, very quick and surprisingly visual. So I decided to have a go at that. I popped across to AliExpress on the internet and ordered an electrolyzer, and this is the unit that arrived. And on the side of it, it has a little graphic showing you the different contaminants in the water. And during the course of this video, we'll take a closer look at that. So the next thing I had to do then was brave uh, Tesco because I made a decision at the start of all this nonsense with the way Tesco and most of the other really large supermarket chains were behaving in a reckless and irresponsible fashion, uh, despite what they may claim, that I would never shop there again. But for the purpose of this video, I had to bite the mythical bullet and take a run down there and get the supplies I needed. So this is what we did, and I will catch you at the end for a quick sum up. Right, so what I decided to do was in the first instance take some of the distilled water that I make in the Make Water Pure Distiller and run it through. I've done the same thing with all the waters. We run it for one minute and at the end of each one I rinse the glass out with distilled water and dry it and wipe the electrodes down. Now in this one you can see there is a little bit of material being produced on the left electrode and a little bit of discoloration on the water which is to be expected but nothing serious and when you compare it to the other waters you will see a substantial difference. So the next one is Buxton. I also realize it's quite hard to pour the water out of these bottles into a glass. They're clearly designed for going straight into your mouth. And you can see straight away, because of the material that's in the Buxton water, the electrodes are fizzing like crazy, particularly again the left one. And we're already starting to see some green and orange discoloration here. And at the end of these, I will put up a little plaque so it tells you which is actually the label on the distiller so you can see what the color definitions are. Brecken Carrig. Prince's Gate.
Then I thought we'd show you some Welch tap water, which is what I use to make the distilled water. It's quite soft water, um, but again, this had quite an interesting reaction. Evian Tesco Ashbeck English. Garrick Glen, which I bought from Little. Now you'll notice in this one it is fizzing quite a lot to start with. Uh, it goes a very interesting colour, this one. And Smart Water. Now I saved this one for last because the video I watched, in my mind, it had the highest level of contamination. Uh, and as you will see, some interesting things happen to the colour of the water. And because of the colour this was going, and another video I'd seen, I did initially stop the test here, and then I thought about it for a second, and I thought, you know what, let's run it for another 25 seconds or so and see what happens. Because when it goes black, it's indicating dirt and or heavy metals, and just look at the colour this gets to. How nice is that? So then what I decided to do was to empty my distiller, which had been running in the background, which is what the noise was you could hear. And I store it in this eight liter glass jug with a metal tap. And I also do something which some of you may consider to be a little strange in as much as I vortex the water because implosion is everything and implosion powers a natural world. So I do it anti-clockwise three times and clockwise three times. And if you want to learn more about implosion, vortexes, and water, 
I have done a video about that, but I'd also recommend you look into the work of Victor Schorberger, and I'll put a link in the description below. Now, the final thing I thought about was, wouldn't it be interesting then to take the remaining contents in the bottles, put it into the distiller, and then distill that water, and then run a final test where we have a look at that. So we went about doing that to see what would happen. Hi there, now I realized that we were gonna let this one run its course, but I've got some other things to do later on. So as you can see, this is about halfway done now. So I'm gonna just turn the power off and we will take a glass of this and I will then run the electrolyzer through it. And you should hopefully see that it does exactly the same as it did before, that all of the bottle waters that we put in here that had those very strong reactions have come out absolutely clean. So let's do that right now and I'll catch you in a second. Now, I don't know about you, but I found that whole experience very, very interesting and extremely enlightening, particularly with the fact that the distilled water hardly has any reaction at all because there is nothing for it to react with in the water. And that's also why distilled water uh, is actually an insulator, it's not a conductor. Uh, you can do with that what you want. If you'd like to get a distiller and you'd like the one I get, or well, I have rather, I bought it from Make Water Pure, I have an affiliate uh, set up with them so you can buy from them. You'll get the normal sales price. It won't cost you any more, but I will benefit to the tune of 20 pounds from the purchase of the distiller that you make from them. And I'll put links in the description below. I have to think it's a really good uh, setup. Delivery is very fast. They have great customer service and should bits wear out, which will eventually happen, they will sell you the individual components as well. So I think that's a particularly good setup. I would encourage you, if you're not already drinking distilled water, that you start doing that. The real big results come when you drink more than four liters a day. That's somewhat of my size. Um, and I will put a link at the end of this and also in the description of the video where you can watch a video, which is what people were talking about, what people were saying. And also put some other videos because I put a playlist together on that where some doctors were speaking out about that. And I'll put a link to some books that you can have a read at, which are on my website as well. Uh, and they're all to do with distilled water. If you've got any um, thoughts, any kind of misgivings about it, you've probably heard the, the lie that it strips minerals out. It does. It strips inorganic minerals out that have no business being in your body in the first place. So I'm going to leave that with you. I hope you enjoyed it. And thank you so much. You were all amazing. I appreciate all your support and comments. And I will see you in the next video. Take care of yourselves. Goodbye. Yeah.